Hello and welcome. This trusty Bernina 530-2 sewing machine has got a problem with the tensioner here. You'll see that the knob is just falling off there. I can't, you know, tighten that or get that to take onto thread. And if we have a look inside here, we'll see that the all the threads are breaking away here. This is just plastic. If we have a look inside here, we can see that the thread, this piece of plastic here has all fallen away and there's all sorts of little bits of churned up plastic bits falling out of the this area here. And if we have a look at one that's in slightly better condition, although not perfect either, can see that this is a, uh, a more intact uh, knob here. The threads, you'll, you might be able to see a crack here. Uh, so this one's starting to fail as well. This came off a spear. I thought this might have been good enough to uh, replace the, the broken, the completely broken one here. But um, it's not really, it's not really up to it. So I was wondering whether I could do something fairly quick and easy on this here. The customer doesn't really want to spend too much money. They're not overly concerned about the, um, you know, the aesthetics of the machine. I mean, this little knob here does have the added advantage of, uh, I'll just take that spring out to make this a bit easier. It does have the added advantage of a little indicator, a white, you'll notice a white ring here, that's an indicator that shows through, see it, it shows through a little window here and that gives you, you know, a rough idea of how much tension is being applied. So the more you screw it in, the further in the little white ring goes. So that's tight tension. And as you as we turn, you'll see the white ring come out. So that gives you a little bit of visual feedback. So if we do away with the knob completely, um, you do lose that visual indicator. But I don't think that's really a huge deal. I mean, the the operator that owns it is is an experienced sewer so she will just I'm sure be able to you know make the adjust make this uh, tension adjustment appropriately uh, to, to suit what she's she's doing so I thought that uh, I would just try a, a washer and a nut here it's it's pretty crude I know it's not ideal um, it does certainly not uh, match the aesthetic of the machine but uh, I think um, you know, as a quick and easy fix, this is quite a good uh, solution. Now that is a, a metric M6 uh, standard metric thread, and should be able to just screw that on there like that. So it's really just a matter of uh, you know judging the tension as a general rule of thumb. Uh, you know, if you're starting out with an unknown for the top tension, what I would do normally is I would run the tension quite loose to start with, and you get a, a bit of a feel for it. If we just thread this here now, make sure the presser foot's down because there's a tension release mechanism here. So, with the presser foot in the up position, the tension is released by design to make it easy to pull the fabric out from under the foot there when you've finished the seam. So there's no tension on there at the moment. Put the press foot down and I can just feel that, you know, that's that's probably about right. So that's a good preliminary setting to to go with, you know, and then it's just a matter of threading the machine up and and doing a test sew and just fine tuning from there. Yeah, I think that's a good robust fit.
fix. I think that that nut there will last a long time. It's reasonably easy to turn by hand. If um, you didn't, you know, if, you, if your fingers weren't that strong, um, you could use a little spanner or something to, you know, adjust that. You know, even the likes of this uh, dinky do little four inch crescent here, adjustable spanner. You know, you you could use that as a an adjuster. So I think that's that's pretty good. Apart from the aesthetic issue, if I had more time, I would look at maybe uh, getting getting rid of this remaining uh, piece of plastic that's jutting out here with the th remaining threads on it. I would look at uh, you know getting rid of that smoothing off this whole area in here and maybe look at using some sort of uh, epoxy glue or something like that to glue this nut into the back of this tensioner disc here. Now I'm not too sure how well that would work but I can't see any reason why that wouldn't work and that way you would retain the uh, aesthetic of the machine and also you know this little uh, dial indicator here so yeah as I say that that's just a fairly uh, quick and easy fix to get the machine back up and running so um, I hope you found that helpful and thank you very much for watching